weapons. The CH-53E Super Stallion is the Marine's big and battered workhorse. These tri-motored flying barns have seen continuous service in both Iraq and Afghanistan and were involved in almost all of America's conflicts since they entered service in 1980. The USMC need a big-ass new chopper and the CH-53K King Stallion hopes to be just that. The King Stallion does share in the basic CH-53 design configuration, but really it's a brand new helicopter in the same manner as the FA-18EF Super Hornet is to the FA-18AC Hornet. Although the CH-53K is not a game-changing weapon system, it does trump the CH-53E in the following ways. Power. Her three jet turbine motors put out 7,500 horsepower each, about 50% more than the CH-53E's engines. This extra power will allow for the CH-53K to lift heavier loads over longer distances and will especially improve upon the CH-53E's already capable hot and high performance. Speed. Cruise speed will be a whopping 315 km per hour for the King Stallion compared to the already fast CH-53E which cruises at 278 km per hour. Top end for this beast will be an eye-watering 370 km per hour. Heavy lifting. The goal for the King Stallion is to carry a whopping 15 tons of crap slung externally below the aircraft for over 177 km. This is a massive increase over the CH-53. The CH-53K's maximum gross weight will be close to 38,400 kilograms. This is over 4,500 kilograms more than the CH-53E. It replaces, although its outward dimensions are almost identical. Structure. High strength composites were used for a large majority of the CH-53K's airframe construction instead of traditional steel and aluminum. Controls. The CH-53K will have a state-of-the-art smart glass cockpit, its engines will have a multi-channel, full-authority digital engine control system, and its pilot's flight control inputs will be processed through a fully integrated fly-by-wire system. Drivetrain. This monster packs a drivetrain that weighs in over 5,900 kilograms. Including its composite blades, just the aircraft's drivetrain approaches the weight of an entire Russian Mi-8 hip helicopter. The tail rotor alone has as much thrust as the main rotor on an S-76 medium-weight helicopter. Internal capacity. The King Stallion will be over a meter wider than its predecessor and its cabin will have about 15% more volume. Probably the nicest thing about this bigger cabin space is that two full-size master pallets can now be carried internally. In the past, crews would have to break down a master pallet's contents and then repack it before the CH-53E could haul it to its final destination. Just this capability alone will greatly reduce manpower and increase sortie rates. Additionally, the Kilo's increased cabin width allows the CH-53K to haul a Humvee internally. Weapon System Integration The CH-53E has been very much a work in progress since its first flight with FLIR turrets, gun mounts, communication systems, self-defense countermeasures, and other systems being lashed on over time. The King Stallion will have all these capabilities integrated into its original design, along with a trio of 50 caliber machine guns and its design allows for easy additions of new systems in the future. Visibility. The King Stallion's larger window line and snub nose will offer enhanced situational awareness for its crews via better outward of visibility when compared with the CH-53E. Operating costs. The Super Stallion is an extremely expensive aircraft to fly with per hour flight costs hitting well over $20,000 an hour and it takes over 40 man hours of maintenance per flight hour to keep an echo running. The CH-53K with its internal health monitoring system and modern subsystems is targeted to be less than half that per hour flight cost. General Characteristics Crew 5 2 pilots, 1 crew chief right gunner, 1 left gunner, 1 tail gunner. Capacity 37 troops, 55 with centerline seats installed. Payload 15,900 kilograms. Length 30.2 meters. Rotor diameter 24 meters. Height, 8.46 meters. Empty weight, 15,071 kilograms. Loaded weight, 33,600 kilograms. Max takeoff weight, 38,400 kilograms. Performance, cruise speed, 315 kilometers an hour. Range, 852 kilometers, no reserves. Combat radius, 204 kilometers. Service ceiling, 4,380 meters. Rate of climb, 13 meters per second. Armament. Guns. Two window-mounted 12.7mm M3M GAU-21 machine guns. One ramp-mounted 12.7mm M3M GAU-21 machine gun. Other. 
chaff and flare dispensers. The aircraft is slated to cost about $110 million each, with research and development costs rolled in. There is no real new aircraft alternative to the CH-53K, and even with the meat cleaver that is the sequester looming overhead, the program seems secure at least for now. If its costs continue to rise, and its timeline continues to unravel further, then talk of the CH-53E recapitalization, refurbishment and upgrade may come to pass, at least for a portion of the Marine's 200 aircraft requirement. As less new aircraft are bought over a period of time, the unit price increases. As the cost of each aircraft goes up, the total buy has to decrease to remain within a program's set budget unless scarce funds can be diverted. This is what is called the procurement death spiral in Pentagon parlance, and every over-budget, behind-schedule defense program is prone to it, including the high-priority CH-53K, albeit its fiscal and timeline issues seem tame compared to other major current weapons programs. Let's hope the King Stallion can rapidly get back on track and prove to the American taxpayer and warfighter that it is worthy of its new crown. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more like it in the future.